Hello, you absolute legends. In April of 2018, Billy Mitchell, self-proclaimed video game player of the century, was banned from Twin Galaxies after it was discovered that he had cheated multiple Donkey Kong World records. Twin Galaxies would post their decision in a public statement, saying that the tapes of Billy's World Records show gameplay that could not come from an original, unmodified arcade cabinet. This meant that Billy was lying about how he achieved his scores. A year later, Billy sued Twin Galaxies for defamation, and for the past five years, Years, this insane legal battle over video game high scores has dragged on. Well, on the 11th of January 2024, it all came to an end. Yep, it's over. While everyone on the internet was getting prepared with their popcorn to witness the circus of Billy Mitchell in court, the two parties were doing everything they could to avoid trial. The simple truth is that everyone knew Billy had zero chance of winning. It's a proven fact he cheated, and there are mountains and mountains of evidence confirming that. But trial is insanely expensive. And while it would be nice for Billy to be destroyed by a jury, and it'd make for some amazing content, no one involved wanted to go through it. Billy knew he was going to lose. Billy's lawyers knew he was going to lose, and they were desperate to settle and avoid the humiliation of defeat. So they worked out a deal with Twin Galaxies, and the party settled. Today, we are going to look at what that settlement means, because I'm sure you're all asking, if they settled, does that mean Billy won? Did Twin Galaxies recant their statements? Did they admit they were wrong? Are Billy's scores being reinstated? Is Billy unbanned? Did Billy even really cheat? Yes, you fool, of course he cheated. But as far as the other questions are concerned, in this video I will break it down. And there is a part of this settlement that is absolutely hilarious. Because Billy Mitchell managed to find a university professor willing to put his entire career on the line to defend Billy. And his explanation as to why Billy's tapes look the way they do is one of the stupidest things I've ever seen in my life. I really hope you enjoy. Guys, a new year is upon us, and that means I'm asking the same question I ask every single year. Is 2024 finally the year that I get a six pack? And by golly, yes it is, mark my words, Carl Jobs will finally achieve his dreams and get ripped. And to help me with this is today's video sponsor, Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon cereal is high in protein and has zero sugar, which is exactly what you want if you're like me and you want to gain muscle and lose fat. The macros in Magic Spoon are amazing. One serving contains at least 13 grams of protein, 4 grams of net carbs, and no sugar. And it actually tastes good, which is shocking because most high-protein substitutes taste terrible. Personally, my favorite flavors are frosted and fruity, and I eat it just before bed or as a snack between meals. Magic Spoon even offer bars, which I must say are pretty damn good. Definitely give Magic Spoon a try, and they are so confident they offer a 100% money back guarantee if you are not happy. There are a ton of flavors to choose from, and you'll need to try them all to make sure you find the ones you most enjoy. So just click the link in the description, or scan the QR code on screen, and use promo code LEGEND to get $5 off your order today. Billy Mitchell and Twin Galaxies officially settled on the 11th of January, but it wasn't until earlier today that Twin Galaxies released an official statement. Here is what it said. On April 12, 2018, Twin Galaxies removed all of Mr. Mitchell's scores and banned Mr. Mitchell from competing on Twin Galaxies' competitive leaderboards. This was centered upon a technical basis of what Twin Galaxies believed to be a demonstrated impossibility of original unmodified Donkey Kong hardware to produce images shown in the videotaped recordings of some of the disputed adjudicated performances. The basis for this decision was an independent investigation by Twin Galaxies supported by a series of detailed submissions, experiments, and analyses by Twin Galaxies and from the Twin Galaxies community, each with varying degrees of technical expertise and access to equipment. Recently, on behalf of Mr. Mitchell, Dr. Michael Zyder, an individual who holds a Bachelor of Arts in Computer and Information Science from University of California, San Diego, a Master's of Science in Computer and information science from the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and a doctorate of science from the University of Washington School of Engineering, and who has been qualified as an expert by California and federal courts, concluded that the gameplay on these subject tapes could in fact depict play on original unmodified Donkey Kong arcade hardware if the hardware involved was malfunctioning, likely due to degradation of components. So basically, Billy paid a so-called expert to say it's possible that Billy's tapes show gameplay that looks like emulation because his hardware malfunctioned. I won't go over his entire statement here, but I will do an entire video on this guy soon because his statement is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. 
For a quick recap, we know that Billy's records were done on emulation because of how the levels load. They look completely different between MAME and Arcade. All of Billy's tapes show MAME loading screens for every level. The way the levels draw in each frame is very different, and Billy's tapes match MAME exactly. So we are talking about 9 hours of footage over 3 games, covering a span of 6 years, and they are all identical to MAME. This is just a proven fact at this point. And because Billy lied in order to hide the fact these scores were done on MAME, means that he almost certainly used save states and other banned tools in order to cheat. If you want a really good breakdown, I recommend a video by Veritas, who explains all of the technical reasons for the differences. It's easily the best video on Billy Mitchell ever made. It's four hours long, and you absolutely should watch it. I'll put a link in the description. But in short, we know that Billy's tapes came from MAME, and can prove it. According to Billy's expert, this Michael Zyder, Billy's tapes look like MAME because maybe the hardware malfunctioned. Now, he doesn't provide any evidence for this, he doesn't provide any explanation or mechanism, he just claims a malfunction can do this, and doesn't substantiate it whatsoever. His statement is extremely stupid. For example, he claims that maybe Billy's tapes look like MAME because when you copy a VHS tape, it can cause visual artifacts. Or maybe Billy didn't clean his VCR before he made his copies, so that that's why they look like MAME. It's really that dumb. So Billy finds this idiot professor willing to say ridiculous things for money, and Twin Galaxy says, Well, we think he cheated, but if you want to put your career on the line and say Billy didn't cheat, you can take all of the heat. Twin Galaxies continue in their statement. In fair consideration of the expert opinion provided by Dr. Zyder on behalf of Mr. Mitchell, and consistent with Twin Galaxies' dedication to the meticulous documentation and preservation of video game score history, Twin Galaxies shall heretofore reinstate all of Mr. Mitchell's scores as part of the official historical database on Twin Galaxies' website. A lot of people will read that and think that Twin Galaxies are reinstating Billy's scores, but that is not what's happening. What they have done is create an archive of the version of the Twin Galaxies the new owner Jace Hall bought in 2014, and are adding that onto the website as something you can view for historical purposes. It's basically like the Wayback Machine for Twin Galaxies, and you could literally achieve the same effect by just using the Wayback Machine. It's a snapshot of what the database was like 10 years ago, including all of the known cheated scores, and including all of the fraudsters like Todd Rogers and Billy Mitchell that have been exposed since then. Billy is getting nothing of value here. His scores are not going back onto the official leaderboards, and he is still banned. Literally all he has is some professor saying that maybe, just maybe, his arcade machine malfunctioned three times over six years in a way that perfectly matches MAME. Twin Galaxies hasn't changed their opinion, which is why he is still banned. Twin Galaxies did not say their original statements weren't true, which is why his scores aren't being put back up to the current ranks. Twin Galaxies didn't want to go to trial. And they said, hey, if your expert wants to ruin his reputation by saying moronic things like maybe Billy didn't clean his VCR properly, so be it. Twin Galaxies acknowledges Billy's expert, but nowhere in their statement do they endorse or agree with his statements. This could not be the result Billy wanted, and I assume his lawyers basically forced him to settle. There is no way they didn't know Billy was a cheater by this point, and they really hated all of the negative press people like me were giving them. And this is one of the reasons I went so hard on Billy's lawyers. Obviously, Billy is insane, but his lawyers aren't. Putting innocent people through a lawsuit is categorically evil. It makes you a monster. It ruins people's lives. His lawyers were absolutely complicit in this, and that should never be forgotten. Initially, they would have been naive and didn't know the truth, but by the end, it was obvious they knew Billy was a con man. Applying pressure to his lawyers was one way to try and make them want to settle as quickly as possible. There is one thing that Billy wins, though, and that's the fact that Twin Galaxies is dropping their countersuit against him for fraud. So he definitely dodges a bullet there. Personally, I'm not sure how successful that would have been, and I feel as though it was just Twin Galaxies trying to throw a wrench into the works and dissuade Billy from continuing his own action. Perhaps this is why Billy accepted such a pathetic settlement, because he was truly afraid of the upcoming trial. You know what's really funny, though? And this might give you an indication of how Twin Galaxies really feels. They recently launched a merch store, and when you go there, the first things you see are shirts and mugs showing the difference between Arcade and MAME. 
These are hilarious. I assure you I am not sponsored by Twin Galaxies, but I really think you should go and show some support by buying a mug or a shirt. Twin Galaxies have been quietly fighting Billy Mitchell for five years. They never complained, they never asked anyone for anything, they went through hell standing up to a gigantic piece of shit on behalf of the gaming community, and I think they deserve some love. So please go and have a look at their store, the link will be in the description. Ultimately, I know everyone is going to be disappointed with this because we all really wanted to see Billy get destroyed in court. But it would have cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for Twin Galaxies, money I don't think they even have. And the outcome would have been exactly the same with Billy remaining banned and his scores not going back up to the ranks. However, Billy is not out of the woods yet, because he still has this little thorn in his side, yours truly. Billy cannot escape his lawsuit against me, and when I say that, I mean he literally cannot escape. If Billy dropped his lawsuit against me, he would immediately lose, and would instantly owe me hundreds of thousands of dollars. So our lawsuit is going to trial, and hopefully that's going to be relatively soon. So if you are hoping for at least some fireworks, there will definitely be some juicy courtroom drama still to come for sure. Let me know what you think of this settlement in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, you legends. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.